three, two, one. Let, Let it, it rip. rip. There's nothing like the satisfaction of watching your Beyblade spin forever. Lots of things go into the perfect launch. Angle, Angle. Power. power, muscles. Muscle. But did you know there's something that can stop your Beyblade from spinning? No, no, no. It's not Free De La Hoya. It's called friction. 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 Hi, I'm Dr. Bay, and this is basically science. I love science because it's in everything we do. Eating, breathing, walking, and even blading. That's right, there's a science to Beyblade. Let me show you. Welcome to the lab, Bay fans. I'm Dr. Bay, and this is basically science. But remember, I'm not a real doctor. I just love blading. Today's topic is friction. Friction is a force generated when two objects rub together. You can see friction at work when you slide across the floor in your socks or in your shoes. When we're blading, Friction slows down a top spin. In a perfect theoretical world, a Beyblade with a super duper pointy performance tip won't really be impacted by friction. But here in the real world, because the Beyblade's performance tip is usually rounded slightly, they rub against the surface of the stadium. And so we do have friction. And that's fine, because friction is pretty useful. Unless, of course, you want to win by a survivor finish. Friction can be broken down into two key areas. Surface roughness and weight. The surface that you blade on, and your Beyblade, will have different levels of roughness depending on what they're made from. Rougher surface areas equals more friction. The combined weight of the Beyblade affects the downward force, creating more or less friction. More weight equals more friction. So what does this mean for blading? Let's find out. First off, let's test weight. If you want a fair test, it's important to limit your variables or the things that can change in your experiment as much as possible. Here, the only thing will change is the weight. And to do that, we'll change the forged disc and keep everything else the same. It's also important to remember that there are lots of other factors interfering. So let's test the weight on a Beyblade that's not spinning. For our energy layer, I'll be using Bushina Shindra A5 and our forged discs D09, D50, D72, and D66. And together, they each weigh 10, 13.5, 16, and 17 grams. Today, we're going to knock our experimental Ashindra with the same force across the same surface, but with a different weight each time. Since friction is a product of weight and surface roughness, the heavier Beyblade should generate more friction as it rubs against the surface and then travel less distance. That's theory. Now let's put it into practice. Three, two, one, let it slip. So in the end, here's our chart of average distance traveled versus weight. We took multiple measurements to make sure that our numbers were trustworthy. As you can see, the heavier Beyblade traveled less distance. Looks like we were right. Weight really is related to friction. High fives all around. Now that the wait is over, <laughs> I can't stop the puns. If these puns were tops, they would have no friction because they are unstoppable. Ooh. Now that the wait is over, it's time to test friction in battle. To help us, I've got a bunch of surfaces for us to launch our Beyblade tops onto. Since friction is a product of weight and surface roughness, the rougher surfaces should generate more friction 
and therefore spin less. This is the regular stadium, which most bladers battle on. It's made of plastic, so for our experiment, it's middle of the road in terms of roughness. This is some carpet. It's super rough. There's gonna be a lot of friction here. And then this is ice, which is super smooth. What do you bladers think might happen when we let it rip? I'm gonna use the same Beyblade on each surface to make sure that we limit our variables. Three, two, one. Let, let it, it rip. rip. The results are coming in, and unsurprisingly, it looks like the carpet surface had a rough time. <laughs> the carpet surface did poorly. And that's unsurprising because the carpet is so rough that there's so much friction there. But the regular stadium did pretty well. It spun for around about 40 seconds, which is pretty good until you look at the ice surface, which is still spinning. Cool, ice is so incredibly smooth. There's hardly any friction for the Beyblade's performance tip to get caught on. Here's the average spin time for each surface. As you can see, the rougher the surface, the less spin time. And that's because the rougher surface has more friction. So, what did we learn today? Friction is a force that's generated when objects rub together that slows down their movement. Without friction, Beyblade tops might spin forever, but that could lead to other issues. We know that more weight leads to more friction and that the surfaces we blade on can also impact the spin of our Beyblade tops. You've all been amazing lab partners. I'll catch you next month when we look at angular momentum. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to my research. Where did I put that defroster? No.